best kept secret is what it was called for an apartment parrot. This is a spotlight on a Pionis parrot. Hi guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome to my bliss, my channel. I have 22 species of parrots. I love parrots. They make me so happy. And I love sharing my bliss. So if you want to learn a thing or two about parrots, get inspired, watch my parrots and you know, help your parrot out, you're in the right place. If you're already used to hanging out, thanks for being here. You've probably already set your preferences so that YouTube lets you know when the next video loads, usually the next day. Today we're talking about one of the best apartments parrots who's very quiet as you can see <laughs> well at least he's showing you his sound at his worst i'm trying to make sure that you can hear me <laughs> oh, gosh. he's always quiet now except for when we're making a video about how he's so ideal for an apartment parrot okay Ale, let me tell them about you. This is a white crowned Pionis parrot if you haven't met Ale before. Ale is about eight months old. His colors, okay, okay, sweet, okay. His colors are starting to come out. He's getting blue right here around his face. His, his white crown is starting to show more and more. He is becoming a handsome young man and very quiet as you can see. Um, one of the reasons online somewhere my husband read that Pionis parrots are one of the best kept secret parrots is because look at his size. He's a great size, not like a little eel guy, but a great size for a really quiet parrot. <laughs> um, he, and on the site that my husband was reading, he was described as an excellent parrot. You can see why. Okay, seriously, this is Ale at his very worst. He's just very excited because we're out. There's ducks, there's crows, and there's planes. And, and when parrots hear sound, I don't know, they have to compete. So if you have a macaw in your house, you know, and you get a pionis and you expect the pionis to be quiet, that may or may not happen. You do need to make sure it's not too loud because... He's really competing with the noise. All right, Ale. Pionis parrots, um, they are hard to find. That's the bummer. I forget whether there's six or eight species of them. You know, there's so many species of parrots. Sometimes I lose track of things. Um, but they're usually only like four of the species can be found in the US. They are a little expensive. They're gonna usually run you, oh, like two, $3,000, I think somewhere in that range. And of course it's gonna depend some on um, where you are in the U.S., that kind of thing, especially since they're so hard to find. Ale is fantastic. He's a little independent so that he's not like a needy parrot, but he's like really interested in me. He likes hanging out with me. You could see he's excited and all we're doing is we just went out for a walk. I mean, you know, it's a fabulous day because here in Florida, most of the time it's hot and humid, especially this time of year and as it gets into summer. And right now it's like overcast and there's a nice breeze and it's cool. It feels fantastic. Maybe that's why he's excited. But like I said, there's also like sounds of birds around and ducks and airplanes. And, and he's just, he's been chirping and preening. He is thrilled. Pionis parrots are also relatively easy to take care of in the sense that they get their pellets, they get their fresh veggies. You can give them some treats, but that's about it. No expensive nuts for this bird, you know, just treats, whatever you want to give him. Ale, one of his favorite things to do, I think, with me is he comes in the shower and and he likes to, like, lick my wet hair. I don't know. I think he's preening me. So maybe that's why he likes the shower, because he gets to preen me. <laughs> he's so much fun. I take him places. Sometimes I take him to restaurants. Sometimes I take him in my birdie backpack. I think I originally got my birdie pack so I could take him to Naples for the night, which was really fun. 
fantastic parrot. I can't say enough. He's also a great size so that if you get a good size cage, it's still not like this monster cage if you're in a small apartment. I think that if you had a Pionis parrot in an apartment, your neighbors wouldn't even know that you had a parrot. I know. I always like showing you the dark, evil, loud, wah-ha-ha -ha side of a parrot, of a Pionis parrot. He's really, like, never like this, I swear. <laughs> now you really know the good and the bad of this spotlight on this quiet, quiet apartment parrot. Um, can Ale talk? That's a question that a lot of people always ask about. And I'm going to tell you that he is not a prolific talker and he's just starting to talk just a little bit. Of course, it's not in a voice like an African gray or an Amazon that like tends to be pretty darn clear. It is in that parrot voice where you have to sort of jump and hear for it. And you can hear it, but not a prolific talker, not a prolific noisemaker, I swear. All right, thank you for joining me in this blissful video. If you like to make chops for your parrots, check out at parrotbliss.com our new parrot cakes cutting board. They are designs, six designs of little parrot cupcakes that my daughter made and you know she and I did them together it's adorable and if you're making chop for your parrots you need a nice cutting surface it's a glass cutting board awesome you can wash it real good keep it clean for your parrot and feed them their healthy veggies thanks and I'll catch you next time